important thing. Some of the people were obviously sort of, uh, well, they were sort of looking at it as a livelihood. Well, I don't get that. I don't understand livelihood. You know, I understand life, but I don't understand livelihood. You know, I think it's a sort of absurdity. We're not prostitutes. I'm not a prostitute. I was actually quite ill, physically ill. Um, I kind of wore myself out because, for me, it was continual. You know, the band kind of rehearsed and did the gigs, and you know, I would be there doing the films you know, and operating a lot of the stuff. Doing, but when I got back, I would have to start a new cover. So it was quite an intense kind of eight, nine years. You know, when we stopped, we knew we were going to stop then anyway. We'd always said 1984, so when Andy left, I think 83 or beginning of 84, we knew that was a natural ending anyway, so there was no way we would replace him. He just wanted to get back to what he really wanted to do was painting and stuff. And, and he, I think he was worn, I think everybody was worn out, quite honestly. <laughs> you know, and also, you know, the the whole way we'd been put on a pedestal, you know, and uh, the way people waiting for Christ to, what should we do next, you know, and that wasn't what we were there for, you know, it was to empower people, not to empower people to say, well, what do we do now, you know, where do we go next, you know, that wasn't our role, you know, we were just trying to share maybe an insight that we felt we had and experiences that we'd had. In the very beginning, 1984 was the, the cut-off time anyway, if we couldn't say what we wanted to say in that time, then there was no point in going on. So. Then it would be an institution. Yeah, exactly, and that's what it was becoming, and we weren't interested in it. You know, seven years away from your own being is a long time. Um, and we all is were. That, is that what, you f what it felt like? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were living other, you know, we were living a piece of, we were living a theatre, you know, for about day and night. You know, I remember once making love with Eve and thinking, oh, I'm making love to Eve Libertine. I'm not making love to Bron Jones, who's my girlfriend. You know, I'm making, you know, I'm making love to a sort of idea. Um, you know, that sort of thing. And, I, and, and you sort of realise that actually, you be, in seven years, you can become quite an idea of yourself and not yourself because you've forgotten who yourself was because all every day, every fucking moment, you're, you know... It's either in the studio, writing a song, doing an interview, being this, being that. You know, you didn't have time to be, to know who you were. And that's why it was so painful for us when the band stopped. Because suddenly, you know, you'd be sitting at breakfast and there'd be someone sitting the other and you'd think, well, who the fuck are you? Um, because we hadn't got the common connection anymore. I am alone. I don't know about you. And I am the moment. And I am the grace. And this is my time. And this is my place. I won't accept no sorry apology. No pale reflection of possibility. There is no force but my own. In a way, we'd, when we were writing stuff, or when I was writing stuff for Christ, you know, I was defining you know, um, a way of living, you know, especially there is no authority but yourself. You know, which basically, be, I suppose because G and myself have stayed here, we've had to try and live up to that. Um, you know, all the time we're being, you know, like you've come there, here because of that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, basically to see if we were doing it. Um, you know, well that's true, isn't it, in a way, you know, to what extent did that dream work? Um, and I mean, that's a question we we both ask ourselves all the time. You know, to what extent does the dream work? You know, how can we how how could we make it work better? Commodity culture is it, it, you know has got such a stranglehold. You know, and seems to be an increasing stranglehold. That, um, you know, the pockets of resistance. Um, 
you know, might be becoming very isolated. Where are the where are the angry young men and women of today that that, uh, that are actually saying, apart from little band, you might see a punk rock band in a pub somewhere, um, but but where are these people in the establishment uh, or in the established you know pop world or the music industry who are saying this is fucking wrong? Fuck you, stand up and you know what happened to that voice? It's all sort of gone. but yourself.